I have another unboxing here for you today. Today, today I have the HP Stream Signature Edition, the HP Stream 7 Signature Edition, Signature Edition PCs or devices purchased from, directly from the Microsoft Store online at microsoftstore.com. Ships via UPS. So let's crack it open. The Stream 7 is a 7 inch HD IPS touchscreen uh, with an 800 by 1280 display. It's got an Intel Atom processor, the uh, Z um, 3735G. It's got a gig of uh, memory, 32 gigs of SSD storage. And uh, one of the nice things about it as well is with most of these things that come from the Signature Edition store. Um, it comes with uh, Office 365 Personal, so that alone is worth seventy dollars. That's um, Office, uh, as well as a gig, or excuse me, a terabyte of OneDrive storage, which alone is is worth the, the money. These retail on the Microsoft Store for ninety nine ninety nine. Um, oftentimes they, you can find them on sale and uh, so when you do the math when you work the math out on them you have a $99 device but that $99 device comes with um, a copy of Office 365 Personal that's worth $69.99 and uh, at least when I purchased the device they had a special for um, $25 gift card for the Microsoft Store, uh, the online shop. So, uh, buying apps and music and that sort of thing. So, device there. Pretty simplistic in what it comes with. It's got your typical uh, USB charger. It does have the American plugs. Comes with a USB cord. And uh, just a very simple little deal with your um, uh, signature edition information here. Uh, one of the things that's nice about a signature edition PC is that it comes clean. It is this is the way Microsoft uh, expects it to uh, be done. But the OEM manufacturer is not shipping them that way, so they just kind of took matters into their own hands. Um, they, it comes with um, Windows Defender, which is the antivirus software, so you don't need Norton or anything else. That's always the case whether you buy a signature edition or not. You don't need Norton and any of that other junk. Um, boot up's going to be fast. Shutdown's going to be fast. It is designed the way Microsoft wants it. Um, and there's nothing, there's nothing extra on it. There's no bloatware or anything. So that's nice as well. A little bit of information about the quick start on how to um, power it up. We're going to skip the information about uh, charging it. Plug it in. Um, does take a uh, micro SD slot, so you can do additional storage if that's something that you need. It's got a nice clean back to it. Camera up here at the top, across the front. Windows logo, logo which I think is something that's is really important on any of these types of devices. The ability to get back to the Windows home screen is very important. Front facing camera across the top. Uh, USB port, kind of hard to see there. USB port headphone jack. On this side we have nothing across the bottom. Uh, tiny little slot there, that's for your uh, uh, micro SD I believe. Let's take a look. No, I'm sorry, that's the speaker. Micro SD you have to actually take the back cover off. And then down this other side, volume rocker and power. So let's set this here in my little stand. I'm going to adjust the stand up so that you can watch it power up a little bit better. Navigate through the initial setup here. I'm going to go ahead and agree to settings. As far as registering it with uh, HP, um, 
I'll go ahead and do that. Walk through some sort of setups. Connect it to my wireless. The uh, touch screen on here seems very, uh, uh, very easy to use, very friendly to use. Um, registers taps very easily and quickly. Next, it'll have me log into my Microsoft account. If you don't use their two-factor, or what they call two-step, um, authorization in, when signing in on your Microsoft account, I strongly suggest that you do. Uh, it's very easy to use. I just get a text message with my number. So that's the first boot into it, so you'll notice it's already pulled in some of my uh, favorite apps that I've had installed recently in other places, and it continues to do some of those. It's already got my groups in the way that I had them before. This is interesting especially because this is a section from a Asus um, ultra-thin laptop that I had a, a while ago. That's a grouping. This group continues to show up on my um, on all my Windows devices that I that I end up installing. So um, notice all of these have a little down arrow icon. These are apps that are not installed yet, but in order to install them, just simply tap on them, um, start scrolling the the little dotted lines mm -hmm. down across the bottom. If you can see that right in there. And it will begin to install. So, pretty fast install. Um, let's jump back over here. This is one, an app that I happen to like. It's breaking news. It's a um, NBC property. So that's a quick download. Tap on it for launch. And. Um, Pretty quick, pretty quick launch there. Uh, um, tap the home button. Quickly takes it takes me back to the beginning. Another thing that I like about the Windows in general, um, my mail auto sets up accounts that I have from different places. So when I obviously I have my Microsoft account already set up here, I use a Hotmail address for that. Um, but then I also have um, other addresses set up in here as well, and they they show up down there at the bottom too. So overall seems pretty quick and responsive. Swipes back and forth really easily. Orientation turns very quickly when I go uh, back and forth. I did have it plugged in for a minute there. Screen brightness looks um, looks really nice. Hard to see with my glare there, apologize. Um, off button turns it off really easily back on, swipe up, volume controls over here on the side. So that's a first look at the uh, Stream 7 uh, from HP, purchased from the Microsoft Store as a part of the Signature Edition.